Hello guys, it's Chuck Grove from Forge and Truth. So, I've gotten a few questions about what do I carry when I'm out foraging for whatever I'm looking for at that moment. Well, let's go ahead and just get into it. So, if I'm foraging, if I'm out looking for something, I want to try to keep it as light as possible. But there are some things that you're going to want to be prepared for in case possibly getting turned around, not knowing your location and um, protection reasons and just having the equipment that you need to find and to harvest and keep clean the things that you're trying to find in the woods. So let's dig into this bag. Why do I choose a single arm strap bag? Well, I like it because I can switch into a hand grip and just walk carrying my bag or I can attach it just by throwing it over my shoulder and keeping and keeping it with me like that or I can actually unclip it and sling it on just like a military rucksack and then I could be hands free so that's one of my big things if I want to be hands free and I want both of my hands digging into what I'm doing I'm gonna have my bag strapped on quick detach we come right off I can get exactly what I need in a moment so let's talk about the contents of this bag first you can see if you have any tools I like to keep them on the outside of the bag that way I can get to them quickly mushroom knife I have it slid in here I do not have a protective piece on the knife but when I use the molly on this bag it covers up the knife blade and besides usually I'm finding a lot of mushrooms just things in my left hand almost all the time so let's go ahead and release the straps and see what kind of tools I brought with me today so with there being possible morel mushrooms uh, of course I have the mushroom knife and inside you're gonna see I have this net bag it's really light and um, kind of airy this one does not do well with briars and, and things like that so I use this for any of my leafy greens or if I find morels it's a good bag to throw them in and I have it tucked away in this pocket where I can compress it with a couple pushes and it's gone now ramps are up so if I want to harvest bulbs I have a shovel you notice the color is orange that's because when you're done moving leaf litter around and digging up your ramps and you're excited because you have a nice set of ramps you know they're a nice group of ramps your shovel could be underneath some leaves now you're hunting for your shovel not when they're fluorescent orange I like this shovel a lot very cheap by the way I think I got that at tractor supply now if I'm just harvesting ramp greens or anything I have to cut in the greens I have a matching set of clippers um, these clippers again they're not real expensive they can break easily but I carry a pair of fiskers for anything that's really hard to cut if you're foraging like uh, elderberry or whatever for that that time of the season then you can cut the anything with these so I keep those outside the bag stuck in the molly as well but I have two sets of clippers on me so the next thing I carry is a compressed used water bottle and that's for obvious reasons and I can just stretch this back out and use this to collect water sugar water from a tree um, and this is more for if you get turned around, if you get lost, if you fall and hit your head, or whatever it is, you get injured in the woods, you have a way of collecting um, water, which water you can go way less time without. So, 
I also keep a plethora of fire starting devices with me at all times. It's just a good thing to have. You know, I, I'm going to teach you guys the primitive ways of starting fire, but if I don't have to, I'll tell you the truth, I like using a lighter. So I have those with me too, just in case you would get turned around or something would happen where you're going to be out there a lot longer than what you thought. Now, in the spring, and I know you're novice mushroom hunters that like morel season a lot are going to know exactly what I'm talking about when I show you the next item. Um, you're going to want rain gear. We'll talk about this in a second. But you're going to want rain gear. So I'm going to pick this up. I have a compressed wet weather suit right here. I love it to death. Um, it was pretty expensive, but when you're dry in the middle of a downpour, or at least as dry as you can be, it's an awesome thing. Now you're probably wondering why I have a spray bottle. I like to eat in the field sometimes. So what I always do is I take a spray bottle, a cheaper spray bottle, and I put about a tablespoon of salt in this water. And that can actually serve a couple different purposes, but when you're digging ramps or you're eating fresh leafy greens salt is a great way to clean off any impurities that might be on those leaves or those mushrooms uh, it repels bugs i keep it on me for that reason but there is another reason you can use salt water if you are lost for days and you are not well and you're not keeping in water you can take a few swigs of this and it's the same kind of thing that you get with a Gatorade. Um, so help, the salt will help you retain water. It's a good thing to have on you. So I have those things. Now I also keep a plethora of audio video equipment, which, I mean, if you wanted to take it with you to film your own hunts, I think it's a fun thing to do. It's like a little hobby now for me. So. Um, a lot of these pockets are taken up with GoPro attachments um, and some other things that we always carry with us. Now, on the side you'll see that I have a life straw bottle. Again, this is for, um, you're out there, you end up staying longer than what you planned and you have a way to filter water. And we're going to actually have a video on where to source fresh water from. You know, I know I have a river to my side over here. This is actually in the Ohio Powell area, but I would not source from a major stream if I didn't have to. If it was my only option, maybe, but I would source if I could find a smaller stream and uh, a in finding that smaller stream, see where that, that water is actually coming out of a, a an underground stream. So, but we'll talk about that more later. Now, you might see that thing on the top, you know, and uh, we're gonna get into that. You're gonna think, well, there's Chuck Grove with Foraging Truth, and he has a handgun with him. Um, that might throw some people off, but it comes from my military background um, and knowing, and even corrections, knowing what's happened to some people when they're out in the middle of nowhere, some people, don't believe in it well then don't carry one if you do believe in it and you want to feel a little bit safer and you want to be able to control your situation well then I carry one so it's all in your personal preference um, but it is a right we have here in America so I do carry one now with all that being said the video that we have coming up sometime soon is going to be biblical reasons that I carry my gun and I'm not gonna I'm gonna let the Bible speak for itself on that so what's the last thing that the guy from Foraging Truth carries in the woods turn my bag around here well probably the most important thing the Word of God so I have it close to me it's right there if I need to reference something for any videos, I have it with me. And if I just want to sit down, enjoy the nice weather outside and let God speak.
that I have my book with me. So, um, this patch on here, this is the 220th MP Brigade. You got two and two, 220. So, uh, that was where I served. That's who I served underneath in Iraq. I know it's a reserve unit, but we were active duty, 300th Military Police Company. And I have a lot of my brothers I think about when I see that patch, so I have it on me. And of course, if you're gonna stay longer than you planned, a flashlight. And I choose to have one I can recharge or change the batteries in. So, just a couple things, guys, that you might wanna have on you. Even if you don't plan on being out at night, it's always good to have something to help illuminate the situation if you need to. Now that we have it all packed up, let's go out and see what we can find today.